Welcome to the presentation of the Secure Information Sharing Platform, or CISP. CISP addresses uh, an important problem for our care organization, transfer of information between the same organization in different premises, between multiple organizations and on the same nation or cross-border. Information should be transferred in a secure way and, of course, uh, in a timing fashion. That usually doesn't happen. Uh, healthcare organization transfer data by using non-secure means uh, and non-GDPR compliant means, fax, email, messaging, or even by exchanging physical media. CISP enabled this uh, secure information sharing of uh, any type of data from medical EJ images uh, to discharge reports, uh, etc., within the same organization or within multiple organizations same nation or cross-border, fully GDPR compliant, throughout a secure exchange channel, including strong end-to-end -end encryption, encryption of databases, and so forth. It's based on a previous agreement, of course, between the different healthcare organizations. CISP allows a very fine-grained and customizable debt model and the data access control, so it's possible to customize the type of data that are transferred and also to anonymize part of the data that may need to be anonymized. And of course, uh, data visibility via hierarchical groups is extremely important and is very well uh, addressed. The data model is customizable, so it's possible also to change the type of data and the facet that those data are using in order to be transferred. And uh, there is a full interface, including warnings, notifications, uh, which uh, enables a much more user-friendly type of interaction. The deployment model is a hybrid that can be fully centralized or fully peer-to-peer -peer or an hybrid version of the two with the clusters of the federations, for example. It's also integrated with identity management platform of uh, developed within the Panacea and uh, uses uh, for authentication can use a single sign-on in order to be integrated uh, in a seamless way within uh, the information system of uh, an healthcare organization. On the next, a demo of the Secure Information Sharing Platform. Welcome to this CISP demonstration. I'm going to start the demo uh, by logging in as a doctor from FPP. This takes me to the dashboard view. On the left, we can see the different functions that we have available with the different dashboards. Dashboards can be organized to show the information that I need. To demonstrate the uh, main capability of CISP, we are going to imagine that the dialysis patient needs to travel to Greece from Italy. During his vacation, he needs to have medical attention Therefore, we need to trans uh, transmit his parameters to the facility in Greece. CISP allows us to extend and configure what kind of information we record in different templates. I'm going to create a new record based on the dialysis template. As you can see, the form changes and I'm now entering the information needed for the, for the template. On the right side of the application, you can see a participant list. This allows us to configure the visibility for, for, for this record. I can assign a handler, but I can also assign a group. So in this case, I'm going to assign uh, the group of doctors to have access to this record. Each record is always in a specific state once it's created. We can see the workflow here. It is specific um, to this template type and can be configured in order to align with what the business needs. You can also restrict the different transitions to a set of rules. I just change the state to be in triage. If we have more information inside the system that we want to reference, we can create references. For instance, if we have a patient summary or something. Here I'm searching for, for the data I have about John and linking this up to uh, this information. If we have any attachments, we can also assign this to the record, for instance, medical images or other files that we are keeping about the patient. Finally, we have the comment section, which allows us to write different notes about the patient. 
And on the right side of that, you can also see the history window, which uh, serves as an audit record for what has been modified on this, at what point in time, and by who, and what was changed. In order to share this information with an external organization, I will enable the sharing. Fields in blue are shared. You can see that a certain part of this uh, record is already shared. Uh, but then we can also configure on an attribute level what attributes we also want to share. This allows us to, to not send uh, the entire uh, set of information we have. Maybe we have some internal fields, so we are keeping some data that we do not want to share with the, with the other healthcare organization. On the right, uh, in the participant list, we can also now see that we have a constituents and a shared with field. Healthcare organizations are ordered into different constituents, which is a grouping of different healthcare organizations with some kind of pre-agreement about sharing data between each other. Here I'm selecting the FPD, Seven Healthcare uh, Region of Crete. And then I also need to assign which organization inside this constituents I'm sharing with. So now I'm going to share this with the general hospital directly. Then we have a warning which is configurable as well, which will allow us to ensure that patient consent has been, been signed. Finally, we can also write notes uh, between different healthcare organizations. So here I'm just going to inform about an upcoming vacation of John and send that as information to the general hospital currently. Now I'm going to switch over to the other server uh, where general hospital currently is installed and signed in as a doctor on their side. Now we can see that I have two new notifications. So one ticket was created and then later updated. And this is only the information that was shared with us. But before we can work on this information, we need to uh, assign the participants inside our organization. So I'm going to choose the doctors uh, for visibility on this one as well. In order to support cross-border requests, we have a feature which allows us to map a record into an other template type. We call this the clone feature. And the clone feature basically allows us to take an internal template and map it to some kind of uh, common uh, understanding. So in this case, uh, it doesn't make sense, but you can see that I'm taking the dialysis assistance request and turn it into a magnetic resonance image. You can see the different fields that we have available and what kind of mapping I want to do of these fields. And then we can share the, tick, the clone ticket as normal. Thank you for watching the demonstration of the CISP. So the Secure Information Sharing Platform is part of our current portfolio of security products in VIA and is it is in advanced validation status. It is going to be offered with licenses so the organization can install one more uh, uh, or more uh, different instances of the application and then directly access to it uh, from multiple premises, for example. Or it can be now offered as a service, so it's hosted in a public or a private cloud and then it's accessed in a multi-tenant way by different organizations. So it's completely customizable. Thanks a lot.